let's talk about how you raise money, right? So let's start sure. with the, the old way, right? Kind of the, when you first started in 2005, how did, what was the process? First, like, you get debt from a bank and then you need equity. So what, how did you do that then? Debt is never the hard part. That's always the easy part, especially when you're buying apartment buildings. It's probably the most financeable asset class in America. Uh, it actually spoils you a little bit when you try to get financing on something else. You're like, wait, why is this so difficult? <laughs> um, so equity, we did very organically. My partner and I, Mitch and I, we bought our first couple properties with our own money. That runs out very quickly then we started to syndicate and just do very typical pass the hat type syndications <laughs> i was what's a pass the hat syndication what does that mean actually you're passing the hat to every single human being in your phone book every single human being in your office um i was talking to guys at marcus and of course all those guys love to invest mitch um, is an hff alum and all of his colleagues were investing and we would pull the capital together friends family and buy properties so and how did you do that then what was the actual process when you say pass the hat you didn't literally hey, i've got a hat no <laughs> you didn't literally uh, you know say but you throw your money in there right so what actually describe that process to me what sure we drafted a ppm or our lawyer drafted a ppm with a business plan in it of course and we would call everybody we would tell them about the deal and uh that's how we would raise the money. They would, print print out the PPM. they would print out the PPM. They would sign the sub docs. They would sign the operating agreement. Um, they would scan it and email it back to us. Okay. And how did you pitch though? I mean, they, you didn't just send them the PPM. You had to explain you've got an apartment somewhere. So what was the process for doing that? It's really not that much different than it is now in terms of the pitch, because people, if someone's going to write a large check, and even if they're going to write a check for the bare minimum, which is $50,000, that's a fair amount of money. So they're going to want a five minute phone call, 10 minute phone call. And uh, we set up the call um, or the meeting. Oftentimes they'd ask to meet on site that we don't have that as much anymore, uh, especially now that we're doing out of state deals. Back then it was more local. Um, so I should mention that we did grow geographically as well uh, because we used to just do deals in our own backyard. So I was, I was a broker of apartment buildings in the San Fernando Valley. So naturally we started buying apartment buildings in the San Fernando Valley. And did you print out, did you put together uh, like a, a deal memo with pictures and uh, the storyline or was it just the, was it just the PPM, just a, a legal contract they used or do you use we did it? both? We did it with memo. We did like a deal brief or a memo, whatever you want to call it and a PPM. Um, and in that sense that really hasn't changed the only the only real difference is how we market it uh how the manner in which we send it out to our investors and how they sign the documents